everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having uh, a great start to your week. Um, it's important to get things off to a great start. Uh, sometimes you don't control all of the variables, but you do control how you respond to them. Uh, with that being said, look, you know how things work around here. If you like what you see in here on this channel, click uh, the like button, click the share button, click the subscribe button. Um, if you believe in the work that we do at the Odyssey Project, work that I have facilitated and guided for 30 plus years, if you believe in it, support that work, especially this new project we've got with mental health uh, research and program development over the next 18 months. Uh, not to mention black men lead rite of passage, proper socialization of young black males is so important uh, to the overall development and empowerment of our communities, helping uh, young black women with the different things they deal with from childhood sexual abuse on up to intimate partner violence and a number of other things. All these things we've done for years. We are, again, asking for your support. Okay. Let, let's talk about what I want to talk about because I'm on my way uh, to the spot. And when I get there, I want to be able to kind of unwind. It's been a busy day. It's been kind of a weird day for me. But anyway, we are in a place where we have no margin for error. But we keep making errors. Uh, we are too easily misguided, too easily misled. And one of the ways that we are consistently bamboozled is through our celebrity worship. The level of gravity, respect, and honor we give celebrities um, is borderline religious. And I don't mean that in a good way. They want to convince us to do something that we may see as being questionable. They put a celebrity in front of us. The celebrity says, hey, look, I'm doing it. And next thing you know, everybody's doing it. Um, the problem is celebrities aren't by default automatically, unapologetically black automatically by default uh, great role models uh, automatically by default great leaders being a celebrity scene simply means that you had a talent or a opportunity to do something that puts you in a spotlight it doesn't make you the smartest person in the room it doesn't make you the most aware the most researched person in the room it doesn't mean that you are good at solving problems it doesn't mean that you're even for the people you're speaking to it means that you are being paid more than likely to stand up and say something that will have an impact on the people who hear it and no black people aren't the only ones who are a victim or uh subject to exploitation by way of celebrity uh, manipulation, but we are the ones least uh, capable of overcoming misguidance, misdirection, mishandling, uh, the misappropriation of information and so forth. And it's amazing to me how much we put into it. There's all this information out there. There are all these people, boots on the ground. There are all of these great minds that are really out there doing the work and they can hardly get a voice. And even the ones that are playing the, the pro-black card, but hustling the people, they've gotten some somewhat of a um, celebrity status by playing uh, the games. And see, what you got to understand is in most instances, when you look at people who have released, reached celebrity status, and it's not always true. I mean, some are just exceptional at what they do, especially when it comes to certain athletes. 
They're just exceptional at what they do. But even then, they still need someone to give them an opportunity to do what it is they do. Uh, when it comes to entertainment, that's not just talent. Some people are immensely talent. I mean, just mad crazy gifted in what they do. Whether it's vocal talent, whether it's lyrical talent, whether it's acting uh, and, 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 and so forth, they're gifted. But there's also the compromise. There's also the things that no one talks about that they have to do to be able to get into some of those doors that compromises them, that breaks down their wall of value of character. Some things I'm just never going to do because there are certain things I'm not willing to do to do it or to have it. And I'm okay with that because I know that my skills, my gifts, my intellect, my tenacity uh, will produce for me some extraordinary things in and of itself. Uh, I don't need to be famous anyway. I don't need um, to, to, to go to the ends of extraordinary wealth to the point to where I've got to compromise myself. I don't need that. I can build what I need to build and do what I need to do to the best of my ability and I'll trust God that he'll work with what I put in and we'll do that. But I am not uh, going to compromise who I am and what I'm trying to be for the sake of having something. Um, that's just me. Uh, everybody's different and that's the thing we have to understand is some people are willing to make those compromises and those aren't the people that we want setting the standard giving us advice telling us what we should be doing because they have people who are influencing their uh, futures in their success who are on the other side of the spectrum and we as a people need to start to understand that everybody isn't for us. Um, there's, a, there's a saying, and I'm pretty sure you've heard it. Uh, all skin folk ain't kin folk. And what it means is just because they look like us don't mean they for us. And so what we are going to have to really truly learn is to be able to get past, number one, the celebrity worship, number two, this this thirst for sensationalism. Um, and what I mean by that, if, it, if you don't make it funny, if it's not about somebody famous, if it's not some kind of gossip, if it's not somebody beefing, uh, if it's not somebody that can make you laugh, you don't want to see it. And, and the thing is, the very things that will get us to the next level, the very things that will take us to a higher uh, place um, are the things that are going to be considered boring by the average person. Uh, and we've got to be okay with pulling that. You've got to develop a mindset to the point that the things that are boring now become uh, exciting. I get excited when I get ready to read a book. I get excited when I get to uh, get ready to dive into a new study that I haven't read before, uh, a new research uh, dissertation that I haven't read before, um, watching videos of lecturers on topics that I'm fascinated with. And it's about growing in my mind. It's about developing a capacity to be better at doing the things that are going to change the world around me and leave an indelible imprint in this world that says I was here. Uh, all that extra uh, curricular stuff doesn't do anything for building your legacy. It doesn't do anything for creating uh, a space for the people who come behind you to grow and to develop and to become. And when you look at your life, what have you left in the way of a legacy that says, man, this dude did that, this dude did this. And again, there's nothing wrong with being a celebrity. There's nothing wrong with being a fan of a celebrity. But a celebrity is there to do what they do. If they are, are an athlete, they're there to play the sport that they play. If they're an entertainer, they're there to act, to sing, to 
uh, do whatever. That's what they're there to do. And that's their thing. And be a fan of what they do and appreciate them and celebrate them and support them and all of that. But when it comes to the totality of the black collective's progress, that needs to be in the hands of the people who have buried themselves in the research, buried themselves in uh, uh, the need to understand, set under great teachers and been taught and the people who are willing to sacrifice it all to get to the end. Those are the ones we need to be giving our, our, our ear to. Those are the ones we need to be supporting. Those are the ones we need to be protecting. And, 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 and it's imperative that we actually come to a point to where we get out of this rudimentary mindset of escapism and simply being entertained and we get to a point of saying you know what it's time for us to rise up and make our presence felt it's time for us to stand up and make moves it's time for us to cover our children and our women it's time for us to stand up and be what we need to be and move to the places that we need to be in and it's not going to happen because we wish it so it's not going to happen because there's some magical idea about it happening it's going to happen because we apply ourselves it's going to happen because we take the necessary steps it's going to happen because we move in the directions that we need to move in when we need to do it and again, we've got to get off of that. We've got to sit up and say, everything has a place. And just because I can recognize your name doesn't mean you have what it takes to get me where I need to go. And I'm not saying that there aren't some celebrities out there speaking some truth. I'm saying that their celebrity doesn't automatically qualify them. And there are far more non-celebrities that are packing powerful punches with information, with programs, with boots on the ground, with knowledge that can shake up the world and nobody's listening because it's boring. Y'all gonna be entertained right into your de total destruction. You're gonna be happy, you're gonna have a blast, but you're gonna be totally destroyed and rendered irrelevant if you don't start paying attention. Look on that note. Look, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I need to unwind. It's been like I said, it's been a weird day. I'm not gonna say it's been one of the day. It hasn't been a tough day. It's just been a weird day. It's been just like something, you know. I don't know if you've ever had that day with just something's off. But uh, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna unwind. I'm gonna relax. Um, got a long week ahead of me. But anyway, uh, that's all I have to say on this day. Again, uh, hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe, and if you believe in the work we do. Look in the description box. Uh, also, there's some other links in the description box. You can go to our official website and look at all the work we're doing. But if you really, truly 